Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing How Not to Fall in Love by Lisa Brown Roberts. I was actually given this book for review from Entangled Teen. I had contacted them because E. Lizzie Books had said that they were looking for booktubers to do more book reviews on some of the books they had. So I emailed them and said that I would be willing to do reviews and I have a book in the mail coming from them. But I also took that chance to be able to ask if I could receive a copy of this book because I saw Whitney unbox it in her What's in My Mailbox video which I will link down below somewhere and I just got really really interested in it it seemed like something that I would want to read so when I requested it um, the person that I was talking to said that they didn't have any physical copies left but if I did want an e-copy she could give me a copy of that and I happily accepted and I am so glad I did. 17 year old Darcy Covington never had to worry about money or where her next shopping spree was going to come from. But then her car is repossessed in her private school parking lot and she realizes that her dad has bailed on her and her mom. It's at her uncle's thrift shop where she hides from the world and she just so happens to meet Lucas. Charlie's hot fix it guy who she can't help but crush on. And though she's not sure that they'll ever make it out of the friend zone, it's also the least of her worries. But through all this, Darcy begins to see a change in herself. If only she has the courage to follow it. Alright you guys, so let's get into this chat about this book because I I have no words honestly right now. Still, I finished it yesterday and I am still so blown away by it. The first thing I want to point out is that it was so freaking cute, okay? There were so many moments where it was so freaking cute and it just it just gives you the feels. It's one of those classic contemporary reads, kind of like anything on this shelf, honestly. I will say this, this one right here, this book that I hold in my hand that you can't see is exactly what it reminds me of, not plot wise, but in the way it's written, and that is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I mentioned it on my little review on Goodreads, how it was kind of written like this, and anybody who liked this book will like How Not to Fall in Love. It was so much more than I expected it to be, and that's exactly how I felt when I read My Life Next Door. I honestly couldn't believe where it went, but I'm so glad that it went that way because it made it seem so much more real. It made it realistic rather than like a cute contemporary read from this shelf where it's like, oh, I love you happily ever after. I have to point out that the shakers in this book are so cute. The idea that Charlie sends her one of the shakers and he keeps one for himself because they haven't seen each other. And, and, and it's just so cute because then when she goes into his thrift shop for the first time, she sees all of the little salt shakers in the glass case. And it's, ugh, it's so cute. I actually really like that idea. I actually might start using that as like a gift idea. That's a really good gift idea. Lucas is like Sir Lancelot. She mentions that in the book so many times. He he tries to save her and protect her and all that kind of stuff. But she doesn't need that kind of saving sometimes. Sometimes he should just let her go and do what she needs to do because she's a strong independent woman who don't need no man. But but at the same time, like like she just she needs him to let her do the kind of things that she needs to do because she's strong enough to do it by herself and she realizes that in this book. I am so proud of her because of that because in a time like this where her and her mom are basically losing everything, she stands up and she takes the initiative because her mother obviously won't because her mother gets drunk all the time, but she stands up and she takes the freaking next step and she makes sure that her and her mom are going to be okay. I really really love this book because of how strong Darcy is. The love aspect of this, I loved it. I just, I loved, loved, loved it and it reminded me, not plot wise like I said, but it reminded me so much of how I felt towards my left next door, but some parts of it just kind of felt under par and I don't know where it went like that. 
but instead of a 5 star rating, I'm giving it a 4.5, which is equally as good, honestly. My 4.5s are usually closer to 5s, obviously, than 4s. I definitely recommend this for anybody who has read My Life Next Door and loved it as much as I did. I would really like to thank Entangled Teen for letting me have a copy of this book to review. I don't know if she has any more books written, but if she does, I will definitely be checking out more of Lisa Brown Roberts' books. So that is it for this review, you guys. I will see you in my next video.